16. It's all about that Twitter life, man. That's where Smash is. But without further ado, Follow we're going to jump into... Oh, sh shameless plug coming from your boy Koopa, HBA. But you know what else is going to HBA? Leo with that down smash, man. It, HBA standing for Hitbox... Not Attack. Arena. Attack. There it there is. There it go. There it is. I'm good with, uh, You're good with making words. letters to words. Now, here's my theory. What's your theory? Diddy Kong is... Diddy Kong's one of those purists that doesn't like DLC. Because Diddy Kong does really, really well against the DLC characters. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Mewtwo, great damage output. And there's the Leo what special What the right there. heck? Girl? No way. What the heck? I was about to say, that's what Leo is uh, kind of famous for. He just really gets a lot of mileage out of Disable. When he gives you the look, man, you just got, you just can't, you see stars. Like, you're just done. It's like the stink guy from that episode of uh, Rocket Power. <laughs> Man, that's a data reference for you. I, I have no idea what you just said. Anyway, but like I said, <laughs> you two, um, a big frame character, and Diddy Kong does really, really well at uh, capitalizing on Mewtwo's big hurt box. Uh, but at the same time, Leo's really, really good at uh, just spacing himself right outside of the range. And he's been playing amazingly today. Like, he's gotten a couple good wins. Uh, uh, who did he beat earlier? He's, he definitely beat Sinji. Sinji, that's what it was. That was the big one. That was what I was thinking. I know he, I know oh, he no. beat someone big. And Dill just kind of throwing that set away. Not sure what exactly happened. He's smiling. He's kind of laughing about it. I think he, like, tried to uh, buffer a quick option off the ledge. Went to jump, and then he ran into a jab and then didn't realize it. And fast fell afterwards. And it was just so. dunzo after that. Yeah, that's definitely something that happens on the... Uh, uh, from time to time, but maybe there's a button problem. He, he, he's definitely saying something about his controller. I wonder if he wants to just like warm that up real quick, like just to make it ready for this set. Yeah, what is going on? I don't know, man. So, what are we, what are we looking at? Bra bra I'm trying to find the bracket. This is obviously the wrong tournament here. So, you know, Leo can take him pretty easily that game, that first game. Is this is to get the winners. Oh, well, you look at that. I just happened to find the bracket. Hey, look at that. Same here. So definitely invested in these little cute little uh, handheld monitor things. So I believe this Tablets is, this is, is the correct word. Semis? This is winner's quarters okay. still, yeah. And the next set after this will also be winner's quarters. And that's Venia versus, is it Dark Blues? Right, we're we're going to go through bracket How did you quick. describe tablets again? The, mon <laughs> the mini monitor? <laughs> what do you want from me? Uh, Raptor versus Venia. That's the other one. $500 and Shulk information. Hey, you know what? We talked about how Dill was putting away the Sheik, but I see the Sheik's coming out because yeah. I mean I think Sheik does okay against me too. Yeah, no, but. she can just like I said, press a lot of buttons and really pressure Mewtwo's frame. Uh, well, Mewtwo has um, you know great moves. I've said up down to a lot of his move aerials come out uh, a little slow, uh, but the downside being Mewtwo uh, definitely benefits from rage in this matchup specifically because stuff like forward air, up smash, and so on and so forth are going to be killing a lot earlier. So I think Dill sacrificing some, uh, you know, some firepower in, to make sure he doesn't get edge guarded because, as we saw at the end of that last game, the only reason he lost that is because he, you know, he mishit a button and it unfortunately cost him the life of a Diddy Kong. Made he definitely just didn't have the control that he really wanted with yeah. Diddy Kong, as you said, he was SDing a lot. So I'm playing Sheik, the character he's, you know, trying true with. He's going to rack up a little bit of damage, playing super safe, playing super keep away. But you Dill know, he's a very methodical Sheik. Like, he's not going to blow you away uh, with pressure. He's not going to sit back and, you know, camp you to death with projectiles. He's going to kind of play a little bit in the middle of that. Um, you know, when you're playing him, it feels like you're treading water a lot of the time. Like, you know, it's like, yeah. Like, well, he's looking know, for not, openings. Yeah, like, I'm not getting, like, destroyed. But then you get that one hit. It's just like, oh, wow, I'm suddenly at kill percent. That sucks. And what happened? <laughs> we see Leo going for the Leo special yet again, waiting for that neutral getup. Nice. Using the bouncing fish right there. We got a little bit of edge pressure coming from Dill against Leo. Leo trying to get back on with that confusion. Yeah, I can imagine it's kind of hard to pressure Mewtwo from the ledge just because of how good of a get out of jail option um, uh, air dodge is. I mean, he's got teleports for days. <laughs> Psychic types, man. Psychic types. Now he's using the Smashville platform to bring them back right back to the stage while Dill's trying to go for an early kill with that bouncing fish. Instead of getting playing a little bit more risky, he's going to chill back, throw some more needles, throw that neutral air in order to try to rack up some more damage. He's looking for a kill now, though, as he's starting to sit at 142%. Oh, okay. That was a lot of pressure there with that grenade. Yeah, and Leo actually reflect, uh, reflected it, so I'm not sure if that means that... Um, man, he just slid in. He just slid into those DMs with that up smash, Open man. Open DMs, baby. There it was. Which is funny, because Dill doesn't use Twitter at all. So. He has, if you follow him on Twitter on one billion dollars, he literally only DMs. <laughs> That's all he does. <laughs> I told you. Wow. <laughs> that, right. was, that was that jump cancel up smash, man. I told you.
Come on. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, Leo again, just trying to get something going right now. Um, and even when he gets back to stage, he's not really making much of it. Uh, just because Dill's doing a really good job just pressing the right button at the right time. He's definitely controlling this momentum, just has so much stage control. He just keeps putting the advantage in his favor as he keeps avoiding the confusion. That, sorry, the disable that Leo keeps looking for. Can you even learn disable anymore? Someone look that up for me. Just look it up on a Bulbapedia real quick. <laughs> Once again, I think I think Leo's just getting a little bit too greedy there because he knows if he get if he lands the disable, he's gonna get the up smash. You know, yeah, he got I'm he got it once in game one, and that just worked out so well for him. And he took out game one with such a like a landslide, and then so right. he's, he wants to repeat history. And sometimes you just can't do it. Yep. So there you go, gonna get the grab. And that was a good use of uh, pa the patience from Dill. You know, he saw that Leo was just gonna use normal get up onto the ledge. He waited so ever so patiently, got the grab, <laughs> sent him flying. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> With the disable. Right, Look now, at me, man. Now Look I, into my eyes. Look into my special eyes. If anybody gets that at home, you've definitely watched way too many old my YouTube brat. videos. <laughs> my brat! My <laughs> Devin over here just shouting my brand over oh and over. Oh my god. Shout out to Team Fortress, too. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get into. <laughs> so, Game 3 is gonna go to Dreamland. Before Austin dies, why don't you tell me what you think about the stage? <laughs> okay, let's let, let's bring it back for a second. Are you good? You reel it back in. All right, I'm Gucci, man. So Dreamland. I understand you guys are, aren't running the new rule set yet. That's no, go no. I think week. we're going into next week, but we're actually keeping Lilac Cruise and we're keeping Battlefield and Dreamland separate. So we're not doing that. We're, all we're doing is just banning Duck Hunt essentially. That's fair. Yeah. Well, because there's so, there's such a Friends, you know, like there, there's so much like confusion going on with the rule set right now because it looks like they're reeling it back a little bit themselves. So we're just right. kind of like, okay, but for sure, Duck Hunt is banned, so we're just gonna ban that. Okay, I should have played on Duck Hunt tonight. Damn. Anyway, so it was your last chance. Yeah, so Dreamland, oh, as that up smash, we'll take the stock right there. Now, I was gonna say, uh, I like the stage choice from Leo because what was really killing him last game is that Dill had so much space to work with, work with, excuse me, with, um, you know, he. Gave Dill a lot of room to charge needles, a lot of room to, uh, to set up and do things. And by going to Dreamland, you're going to confine the spaces a little bit, going to give him some platforms for coverage uh, for Sheik stuff so he just can't come in and bounce a vision for free. Uh, doesn't really matter, though, because Dill took that stock uh, pretty uh, easily, if I do say so myself. Yeah, dude, he keeps, I mean, he's also, once again, in control with this match. He's looking for, like, such huge reads with those tech reads. As you see, every time he goes for the tech, he's assuming that Leo's going to do a normal get-up, so he gets a free grab. But because he keeps rolling away, he doesn't get the punish, but he doesn't get punished for going to committing to too, too much either. Right. But once again, he's applying so much sta off-stage pressure against this man, just showing his eminence here. Oh, the down air coming down. Now, that actually has almost as much knockback as up air does if you hit the sour spot. Mm -hmm. So that is a, uh, a kind of catch me uh, off guard uh, kill option. But the soft <sighs> air, the bouncing fish will do it. Such a malevolent bouncing fish, man. Just caught him. That's not say T word. Straight out of what? That's not say T word. Is it? Yeah. Huh. How about that? You went to college. Did you? I did. Oh. 